everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome to my channel. Happy New Year's Eve. I hope everybody is having a healthy and safe holiday season. I cannot believe it's already New Year's Eve for 2021. It seems like we were just gearing up for 2020. I have to say, even though this year has been extremely interesting and has brought some difficult challenges, I can't say it's all been negative. I do look forward to what the new year brings, challenges and blessings, and I feel like after surviving 2020, I can survive just about everything. I hope you and your families have a safe and happy holiday. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So if you have watched my last couple of videos, you will already know that my new current crafting obsession is the 5D diamond art paintings. I used to love to do counted cross stitching, and I think the reason why I love this diamond painting so much is because it's very similar to doing counted cross stitching. So to keep in the theme of those videos, I wanted to share with you an item that I purchased a couple of weeks ago from Amazon, and that's in front of us. It's the 60 Container Diamond Organizer. I purchased it for $35.99 on Amazon Prime. I know that's a little pricey, but after really seeing what it offered, I feel the price is definitely worth it. And it only took about two days to get here. When it did come, it was packaged extremely nicely. I feel like during the holiday season, as it gets closer and closer to Christmas, the UPS and FedEx and USPS, they use packages like they are trying out for a professional kickballing league. And so it's always a crapshoot on how your boxes are going to look. Thankfully, this box was still intact. It was nice and neat and looked brand new. When I opened up the box, this package was, this was in a plastic sleeve. So it was nice and protected. This, it's a hard case, which I really liked. I didn't think it was going to be a hard case. I thought it was going to be more of like a squishy foam or like one of those neoprene cases. But it is a hard case. It's waterproof. It has this sturdy plastic handle. And it is a double zipper. When you open up the case, on the lid of the case, there is this mesh pocket. And then the main part of the case is where the jars are for your drills. There are 60 individual clear jars. They are a screw cap, which I like. I think it'll keep the drills a lot more safe and secure. And you place them in this pre-cut foam, which I also like because it gives very little room. As you can see, here's the holes. It gives very little room for the jars to move around and wiggle when you're transporting your items or if you're working in a limited space if it accidentally knocks over you might only be spilling one jar that is open not an entire container when you open up the case you have two sides you have the lid where there's a mesh pocket and you can put all of your tools and then there's this bottom part where you'll find all 60 of your jars. The jars are clear and they do come with a screw top and they're set into this pre-cut foam to keep them nice and safe from coming into contact with one another, from rolling all over the case, from becoming a hot mess. The mesh pocket is great for holding all of your diamond painting tools. And when I purchased this, what I liked about it is that it already came with a lot of tools that are either backups or that you can just keep in here to use for whatever diamond paintings you wanted to do. 
So to go over the tools that come in the with the item, there is this silicone funnel. Sorry, lost my train of thought. There's this silicone funnel. I think this is great because when you stick it in the jar, especially with the jar being in the pre-cut foam, it's nice and sturdy to be able to add in all of your drills without having to worry about them going everywhere or you losing half of your bag. There's also four diamond painting pens. Let's get those out. There is the one diamond painting pen. You can use a three way. There's six. And then there's the nine. And what that means is how many drills you can fit at one time on the top of your drill pen. It is really convenient, <coughs> excuse me, when you have those big areas of the same color, you can just use your nine drill pen or even your six drill pen, and it helps complete those areas so much quicker. It also comes with 10 of these pink wax or glue or whatever you want to call them. It comes with a diamond fixing tool. It looks just like a weird spatula. It is nice when you do finish your diamond paintings. I run it along the diamond paintings and any of the, the drills that haven't snapped into place yet or I might have made a wonky line, it fixes and it just tidies up your diamond paintings so nicely. It comes with two different trays. There's this big jumbo tray and then it also comes with a smaller tray. It comes with 20 baggies comes with the tweezers. This is really great if you accidentally set the wrong color or I know from myself I'm clumsy and when I'm changing colors I'll drop a few and they'll get onto the sticky part. It makes it really easy to just pick up pick them off the stick them. It comes with the labels for your jars. And then of course it comes with the 60 jars. I have only been doing diamond painting since literally last Christmas or well actually since the new year. But in that time, as I do each diamond painting, I find that there's different ways or that there's other items that I do like to use, other tools. And what I really like about this pocket is that it's big enough to fit those other extra items in with all of my diamond kits. So for me, I would also include these binder clips. The binder clips I use for my smaller diamond paintings and I attach them to my LED light board. I also have come to you start using washi tape. Here's a couple of rolls of washi tape. Washi tape, if you see in my last video on how to get organized for starting a new diamond painting, I like to outline or I like to border the entire diamond art or the canvas with the washi tape because it helps protect that outside border. There's always a little tiny bit of stickum that's on the border and after doing my first diamond painting, I really didn't like how either the lint from my sweater or just any kind of d dust or debris would get on that outer edge. So as I found as I'm doing the diamond painting and I have the washi tape, it protects that from getting dirty. I also put in a tape measure, a notepad. Who doesn't like to take notes as they're diamond painting, right? I like to put in these release papers. This is something new that I've discovered. Um, you know, you can discover wonderful things at 3 a.m. on Amazon when you can't sleep. These release papers are great for when you're preparing your diamond art canvas to, to start doing it. 
instead of having to work around that big plastic sheet that covers the sticky, what I've been doing is I take off that sticky that, or I'm sorry, I take off the plastic sheet and I cover it with these sections of release paper and I'm able to one, work in my diamond art painting in more manageable sections and to, it keeps it from the sticky from getting gross. It protects the sticky and then it also, I'm able to reuse these. And you can pretty much whatever you find that you would put in your diamond art painting or use for your diamond art tools, you can put in here as well. So let's talk about what I like about this case. As I mentioned before, it's a hard case and so it's super sturdy. I really like that in case I go on vacation and I wanted to take my diamond art stuff with me. I don't have to worry about packing it or it packing it in a flimsy case or having to carry multiple things. I can put all of my tools in the packet in the the pouch. I have all of my drills with me and the only thing I have to roll up is the canvas and there you go. My tools and my drills are protected. I also like that it's waterproof. I like that it has so many little jars for drills. A lot of the diamond paintings come with multiple packages for same color. So instead of having to worry about wherever putting those baggies, the extra baggies, it does give you space to just put all of your drills in the in the jars so you don't have to worry about any open plastic baggies. Another thing that I really liked about this is that the foam you can take out. You don't have to just have the drills in here, you can take this out. So this makes it a multi-use container. If you wanted to use it as a travel case for your jewelry, um, you could put your toiletries in here. You could keep the jars in and instead of using it for diamond art, if you're into jewelry making, you can put all of your jewelry bits and baubles in here, different beads, your clasps, all of your different earring backs, whatever you use, the hardware to make jewelry. My husband likes to do leather working and so he can put his snaps and his grommets or needles or whatever bits and bobs that he has for his leather tools. So this isn't just for diamond art painting. You really can use this as a craft case, again, as a travel case for toiletries. So I really like that it's multifunctional. So I have been really excited and looking forward to using this case for one of my new diamond canvases that I received from the Diamond Art Club. Um, I love Beauty and the Beast, so my first ever canvas that I'm going to be working on from the Diamond Art Club is this Beauty and the Beast one. And I was going to show you just a little how I like to organize my containers. Um, this is the guide chart, the grid your color list and the picture. So this is another great thing that you can put into your pocket. So it helps you keep on track of what your, what your color chart is. And then also like with every diamond canvas, it comes with a packet of tools. So I'll also just put that packet of tools in here. Probably won't use it, but you can never have too many tools. Um, how I do like to number my containers is one through whatever. This particular diamond art painting, here's all the drills. Um, there's 38 different colors, so I'll label it starting from 1 to 38. And that's really how I do it and how it keeps me organized and how it makes sense most to me. So I'm going to go ahead right now and add on all of the labels to the drills and I'll go ahead and speed this part up. So I wanted to see 
after I finish labeling, how many drills one of these little containers can hold. So I just took one of the colors. This is color 3371, which when I match it onto my grid, it is color number 29. I wanted to see how much would fit into the jars. So I'm going to fill this jar up to see. There's quite a good amount of drills in this package. There's some that are a lot more full, but this has a good amount. Okay, I really, really love this silicone funnel. Again, makes filling these jars so much easier than my normal method of struggling. Empty it all out. That's a pretty good amount, but there's still a lot more room where I can fill the jars to the top. So I think that it will, it'll be really good for your bigger drills. You might not get like some of the blacks and the whites and stuff where there's a huge amount. You might not get a full, full package, but you could probably fill up two of these and it would work the same or it would work for your drills. Another thing that I was thinking about while I was labeling the drills or labeling the jars, <clears throat> excuse me, is that if you had two smaller diamond paintings that you wanted to work on, you could probably fit those both into one case since there is a 60 <clears throat> jar maximum. If you had one that was like a 20 and another one that was a 20, you would be able to do both. So then that way you're, you're using more space and, or you're not using as much space and you can keep two diamond paintings in one organizer. Now that I have my tools packed, I wanted to see how much, even though I don't have all of the drills in, I wanted to see how heavy it would be with all of the tools. So I'm going to go ahead and close it and see. Uh, one thing I don't like is that with the mesh pocket being, or having items such as like the funnel, it doesn't go flush against here. And so you do have to kind of squeeze it to close it, but still not that big of a deal. But I don't like that. It's, I would like it just to shut flush. It doesn't really weigh that much more than, or it doesn't feel like it's that much more heavy than when it is empty. So I like how it's not going to be super overly cumbersome. I know when you sometimes have to carry around your craft supplies, it can be bulky or it can be heavy and just not comfortable to bring around. But I don't find that with this. So this will be really nice, again, to travel or just to keep around if I needed to move from my craft table location, it, it'll be nice and it won't be too bulky or heavy to move around. Well, I think that's it. My final thoughts on this are I'm glad I purchased it. I probably would purchase a second one if there wasn't so many jars already, if there wasn't already 60 jars. I think this is a great case to have, whether you're diamond art painting or you're jewelry making or just crafting in general. Those little vials can be great for glitters. Um, I know the newest thing to do are ma people making tumblers. So this would be really great because you could keep your vinyls in the top with your vinyl tools for your Cricut. You can fill your little vials of glitter and you can have it all in one location as well. Um, I really do like that it's waterproof. I like that it has a durable handle. I'm not going to worry about if it does get a little bit heavier, that it's just going to pop off and break. I like the amount of jars. I like the me the mesh pocket. I didn't like how it doesn't go flush, but I think one negative thing out of many positives is pretty good. If you guys are interested in this, I will link it down below. It is still available on Amazon. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below in questions and I'm happy to answer with whatever knowledge I do have. 
Um, I am thinking that I'm going to be doing a few more diamond painting videos in this, let's say, quote unquote, series of diamond painting. I bought some more canvases from Amazon. I bought three canvases from the Diamond Art Club. And then I did see that there was another company that sells diamond art canvases. So what I might do is a haul on each of those but then comparing the different canvases from the different companies. I can already see that there's a difference between the Diamond Art Painting, the Diamond Art Club canvases versus canvases that I would purchase off of Amazon. So I would love to do a video and share my thoughts on that with you as well. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you and your families are having a very healthy and safe and happy holiday season. Again, I can't believe that it's already going to be 2021 in about 18 hours. I feel like as I get older, time speeds by and literally it is where did the year go by, even though there has been so many crazy challenges and so many negative things that have happened in this world. I feel that there's also been some positive things that have come out of everybody having to become more of a family unit again and just everybody having to come together. So I hope that that continues for 2021. I hope that there is many blessings for you and your families in 2021. I would love for you to like this video, to subscribe so you can keep up with my videos. I'm not sure what I want my channel to be just yet with it being so new. I figure 2020 is the year of being uncomfortable and pushing yourself outside the box and I've always wanted to do videos. So here I am doing them. They might not be the best yet, but you got to start somewhere, right? And so again, I don't know where I want my channel to go. If I want it to just be doing craft stuff or DIY stuff, I'd love to share cooking videos because I also love to cook and bake. I would love to do like review videos on products. I also like to do nail art. So, oh, that would be great for this too is putting all your nail art stuff in here with all the little gems and little doodads that comes with nail art. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I wish you and your families a very happy new year. Again, thank you for watching my video. I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. And Happy New Year. Bye.